Hello out there, everybody in the vinyl community. This is Chuck, and I um, haven't done a vinyl-related video or finds in a while, but thank you for turning, tuning in. Hopefully your 2021 is uh, safe, happy, healthy, and going well so far. Um, I just got this album, actually. I discovered this uh, version of this song on YouTube, and... Um, I wanted to hear it in true stereo and sound good, so I just got the whole album. Dick Smother, Saturday Night at the World. There's some Mason. I like. I'm a Mason Williams fan too. Of course, this is a big. Um, well, this is a, a Mason Williams hit here, but there's a song on here that I mainly bought the sound for. I, I can't wait to hear his version of this. I've heard Mason Williams' version, grew up with it, but um, you know, it was already like like, like 20 years old when I started listening to it, but. Here um, he does, these are track listings, he does A World I Used to Know, and um, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Well, I forgot when I ordered this, this is actually a sealed copy of a 1967 album, and I believe it looks original. So, and the original shrink and everything, so I want to retain the shrink to help protect the jacket, but I want to definitely play it. So, this has Can't Help Falling in Love. I want to be free. They are gone. Here, there, and everywhere, which is a Beatles song. So here, Dick Smothers. Dick Smothers does do a world I used to know real nice. Unfortunately, the the one, the most of the ones that are put up on YouTube, like the official like one, like a few of the versions, like done in good quality, like part of the stereo channel is missing. It's weird. Something must have happened, like with the master master tape or something to it. But um. This is only a 10 track album, but yeah. Saturday Night the World, What Now My Love, I Know Why and So Do You, The World I Used to Know, Smile and Turn Around. I like what it says at the bottom. This definitely dates it. Mercury records are also available on reel to reel tapes, four and eight track tape cartridges, and music cassette type cartridges. So, let's see if I can carefully. So, so, I'm opening up a 54 year old album here. I'm going to play it on my 1980s style turntable well from from the 80s watch don't want to nick the edge of the record with the knife very delicate I might start it on side two because that, that side has me more entrancing. No disrespect to the artist or the label, but oh yeah. Nice. Got a nice advertisement sleeve. Dee Dee Warwick. I don't believe I have an LP of D.D. Warwick, let alone maybe a 45. I know I borrowed a 45 with my buddy of hers and put it on a CD. Jerry Butler, Keith, Roy Dresky, Blues, Magoos. This side I have Dave Dublin. Look at this. This is like the original thing from 1967. Dave Dudley. Good old Leslie Gore. I like how it's like a bridge black and white photos of the album covers. Smothers Brothers. Just some nice close ups of this for you guys. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. 
Some of these elms look enticing. I might have to look them up and get them. Definitely some static electricity going on there. <coughs> there you go. Brand spanking new. Dead stock from 1967. That's when they switched to this label design. Probably right about when they did it, I'm thinking. I don't know. I see some like weird marks. Like I don't know. It's, it was sealed, but maybe just from sitting inside. Maybe because it was a paper cover. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. There's like I don't know if it's just from static electricity or what, but. It's fingerprints. Maybe just from sitting with a static charge and some dust, micro dust got in. All right, let's get a sample of it here. Alright guys, you have a great rest of your week and take care now.